Hi, and welcome to Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Nick Johansson with your top stories from this week. A Kelowna resident woke up to find an attempted break and enter from the night before, recorded on their security camera. In the early hours of Tuesday morning, a person was seen casing the yard on Ethel Street and trying to open the front and back doors of the home. A neighbor said their car had been broken into that same night. After the video was posted to Castanet, a downtown commissioner security guard said he recognized the person in the video and pointed him out to the RCMP in downtown Kelowna on Wednesday. Police have not said if any charges were laid. After many years of fundraising and work, the official opening of the Okanagan Rail Trail was held Thursday as politicians and other stakeholders met to celebrate the trail. While some portions of the trail still remain incomplete, the 24-kilometer trail will eventually connect Vernon with Kelowna. We expect that there will be even more on the trail now that it's uh, totally officially open. But it's an economic driver. We've, uh, so we've seen business increase with people coming from not just all over Canada, but all over the world. The man accused of killing a woman in a West Kelowna hotel room in July was denied bail on Thursday. Tejwant Danju will remain in custody as he awaits trial for the second-degree murder of a woman on July 22nd. Police reportedly found Danju hiding in a nearby dumpster with the help of a police dog. The details of the bail hearing are protected under a publication ban. Danju will be back in court on October 4th for an arraignment hearing. Bail was granted this week for an Asoyuz woman accused of barging into a new mother's home with a knife and demanding to see the baby. 45-year-old Sharon Forner was granted bail on Thursday and will be released into a recovery home monitored by an electronic ankle bracelet. She is facing charges of breaking and entering, assault with a weapon, and possession of a weapon for a dangerous purpose. The owner of a Vernon pest control company says the rat population in the Okanagan is ballooning. I can tell you that there's been a, a huge increase in rats over the last five years. I don't think there's any one single cause, but there's a number of causes that have increased the rat uh, population here. That's it for this week's Week in Review. For Castanet News, I'm Nick Johansson.